Hello, it's Colette. Welcome to the weekly tarot card um, for Monday, the week commencing, Monday the 23rd of May 2016. And it's quite a stormy card we've got for the week ahead. It's the Eight of Cups. And again, Road Egg Deck seems to take out sort of different meanings to the more traditional decks, but they do all kind of come together. It's just some artists tend to pull out sometimes more positive things or more things to get us moving. Now, if you look at this card, there's big storms on it. Yeah, and lots of lightning and uh, stuff going on there. It's called Indolence. Um, I, I find it a fascinating card because there's so much in it. And, and I particularly am drawn to the trees that have been bent and uh, also the the kind of lightning streaks and the sparks of electricity in the card. Um, in the traditional tarot decks, it actually has a wee man heading into the distance, leaving all the cuts of emotion behind him, some falling down. And it's, it's a, sometimes about escapism or sometimes about moving on. Um, the word indolence, um, as part of the card, kind of is about laziness, slothfulness or whatever, but that's kind of the basis of the card. What, what it really truly means, particularly with Rorig, is that there needs to be some sort of a wake-up call in the week ahead to move you on from complacency, to move you on from being slightly lazy or slightly complacent or, in a sense, um, doing the familiar, uh, just sort of, it's like sitting back and just expecting the world to go on the way it does. And sometimes when we've achieved good things, um, the temptation is to sit with them for a while and then sometimes we can come become complacent and we, we don't tend to then put ourselves out there again and the the whole stormy effect of this card is to let us know that there will be issues or things happening in the week ahead that will create uh the the sort of catalyst to say yeah don't want to be that way anymore going to move forward don't want to be complacent don't want to um be slothful don't want to be indolent um what could these things be we'll explain more in every different area of life but um just going back to the visuals i love this card again i don't know it's quite dark but if you can see that uh, lots of sparks of lightning and the trees bending. Trees bending can show that, you know, there's storms round about and we're okay though, we're bent in the wind. But eventually the trees have to snap back up again and start living upright. Um, so get off the couch and go upright. Um, and it also can mean that, uh, you know how sometimes when we're feeling things are getting a bit heavy but maybe it's our own fault we've maybe not done this and work's piled up or whatever um, and in general life we can feel a, a build-up of heaviness what we tend to need in nature for that sort of situation is a storm particularly thunder and lightning which clears all the air and that's what the artist brings out in this that um, there'll be certain things this week that can be seen maybe as storms, but they're there to clear the air. They're there to allow us, uh, the air to be ionised and to give us a freshness of being. And that, to me, is the meaning of this card. It's not so much about escaping in this uh, deck. It's more about um, finding the new energy, the new emotions and the new way of thinking to boost yourself forward um, and if that takes a couple of wee storms then or annoyances or you know fair enough so let's look at what it means in different areas of life um, if we look at first career um, you may have been coasting along within career you know what you're doing uh, in fact you could do it standing on your head uh, this card will bring almost like a little perfect storm for you to say, do you know what, I want to move on, I want to do things in a different way, I want to feel enthusiastic and invigorated about my job, so now I'm not going to sit back and be slothful or I'm not going to sit back and just let things happen, 
I'm going to take that energy of renewal and a freshness and move it in the direction I want. So although it looks quite a negative card, it actually uh, can be a very good one because it allows people to change jobs. It allows people to, um, if they can't change their job, then um, invigorate their career in some way, whether that's changing departments or changing the way they do it or even changing your home office about. But think new, fresh. Think the way we feel after a very, very muggy day where um, it's been humid and oh and tiring and then we get an amazing storm and you walk outside and the air is ionised and everything's fresh. That's this card. Um, so, right, see, what if we go to, we've got career, so what we go to health next? Well, again, there's that element of the background of card um, clearing health issues, and because of that, it can be a very good card that, you know, sometimes we reach the end of our tether, uh, health's been one way for so long, and we find that energy to move forward to a new regime, a new way of doing things, a new treatment, um, and, and that's the good side of the card. Um, whenever I'm reading for someone, though, I'm always drawn to the kind of um, electricity in this. And it reminds me, uh, as a pharmacist, of nerve synapses. Um, so whenever this comes out, I can sometimes feel that it's drawn to uh, nerve problems. And that can be anything from carpal tunnel syndrome to neuralgia to, um, you know, the back problems that are to do with pressing of the nerves. And... Sometimes in someone older, it can be watch out for Parkinsonism, stuff like that. But it brings attention to health issues that are to do with the nerve endings and the way that the nerves fire. Now, that's that's just my personal interpretation of that card. It's just because uh, my guide and I, when we got this deck, went through every card and we saw whatever illness was in it, whatever um, impediment in each area um, was in each card. And this is the one that I was drawn straight to the synapses the electrical flow energy through the body. So um, be prepared if you have any um, nerve ending uh, symptoms or diseases this year that they could flare up a wee bit and let that power you on to find a way of dealing with that. If we look at love, this card is about looking at old practices if you're in a partnership and if they're too cosy, if they're too complacent, then they need sparked up a bit. Um, it's it's about allowing uh, freshness into the relationship. It's about renewal through um, looking at things that haven't really worked for you, things you don't want to be part of the relationship anymore, and uh, then moving forward. This card can sometimes bring enough energy or enough of a storm to push people to new things if a relationship has truly, truly, it uh, can't be revived as such. Uh, so quite a major card, uh, it is a cups card, it is an emotional card anyway. And if we look at wealth, um, again, it's very similar. The thread of this card is um, to look at things that you're complacent with, um, to look at things that you maybe started off well, maybe started off saving at the beginning of the year, and then that's dwindled and dwindled. Or you started off with, I'm going to put this money by, or I'm going to uh, get my finances under control better. And any practices that you wanted to put into place, and you have done, but they've kind of gone a wee bit lazy, or you're lazy with the way that you're dealing with money, this is the week where you should use the new energy to uh, renew those things and get your procedures nice, shiny, bright and uh, good. So it, it's kind of one of these cards about renewal. Um, it can bring storms, it can bring stormy weather. Um, so God knows what's going to happen to the weather in the week ahead, but uh, be prepared for some storms, maybe some thunder and lightning about. Um, and apart from that, just remember this visual. Walking out into this your garden or the city streets where there's been an amazing storm and the air is all clear and crackling and fresh and how your energy just goes up you just feel whoa as though you've had the lightning bolt through you um take that energy this week and use it in whatever area of life you need 
look at what's become stagnant in life and use this energy to actually make it not stagnant anymore. Uh, and then that way you can go ahead leaps and bounds with this card's influence. Uh, as I say, it's one of these cards that looks incredibly dark and it's incredibly moody. Um, and, you know, at the same time, the artist has brought out, think deeper, think what this card means, think what happens after you realise that you've been lazy with something or you realise that something's pointed out to you that you've been complacent, that's the time for you. Then renew, reinvigorate and um, off you go. So uh, enjoy the week ahead and I uh, hope to see you next week for the weekly tarot card. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, there's going to be competitions and all sorts of things on the channel, more interaction. Uh, so please subscribe so that you get note of that and you can be part of it all. And um, there was more to come. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. This is nearly my 80th video, I think. And uh, I'm so grateful for the support. Uh, and the people that are watching them because there's thousands upon thousands of minutes been watched and oh so many views I think it's about eight nine thousand now and I'm just so happy with that and I've got to thank everybody that's really helped this channel move but we want more we want to be able to do things with it that uh, are bigger and better so please share the channel please subscribe and uh, continue to support it but you know, even if you don't, I'm thanking you for the support that we've had already because I didn't in a million years think that starting off thinking I need to make a couple of videos because I'm having to talk to people about the same thing all the time magically or this, that and next thing. I didn't think for a minute that nine, ten months later um, we would have so many videos up. So thank you again. I really appreciate it. Many blessings now. Bye.